say, kids? What time is that? Hey everybody, Keith here with another video, and I first I want to thank everyone for the response to the Star Trek The Motion Picture videos. Uh, really surprised, not only at the uh, amount of views, but the amount of comments and feedback. Um, it's it's outstanding, and I appreciate all the kind words and uh, some of the discussions I've, I've had with some of you. So, um, this is not about Star Trek, and um, I'm actually home for a couple days, so I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about another one of my favorite things, which was the FX show Justified. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. It'll only help us grow the channel. So with that said, let's move ahead. Um, I want to thank um, our old pizza and pop culture partner, Angelo Alexopoulos, uh, for sending this in um, tonight. Quentin Tarantino expected in Chicago next month to film crime drama. I was like, okay, what's he doing? That's intriguing. Well, let's read, shall we? So this article is written by uh, Mitch Dudek, published today, April 13th. Let's see. It says, the Chicago film industry has a big fish on the line. Hollywood heavyweight Quentin Tarantino is expected to unfold his directing chair here next month, a Chicago film industry insider confirms. He'll be directing the first episode of an FX series starring Timothy Oliphant. The series is a revival of the show Justified, in which Oliphant will reprise his role as U.S. Marshal Raylan Givens. The series, which is slated to film through August, is based on author Elmore Leonard's novel City Primeval High Noon in Detroit. So rumor has it the new Justified series, it's a miniseries, will be called Justified Primeval. Um... So a uh, couple loose threads are being pulled together here. Film industry trade publications first reported Tarantino's expected involvement earlier this year. Filming is expected at locations all over Chicago, which will double as Detroit, or Detriot as I call it, where the story takes place. Quote, this story is in Quentin's hands and will be really special, unquote, said someone with knowledge of the show who asked not to be named. Hmm. Quote, everyone's waiting to see who is cast as the villain because Quentin can draw anyone. So you might see a big name that you'd normally associate with only movies crossover to do this show with him. So that quote right there, it's kind of funny because as I've mentioned on this channel before, as I, we've mentioned, we've probably talked about on many streams, um, things have reversed themselves. And now you get a lot of big names who want to attach themselves to a television vehicle especially one of the quality of Justified. So I'm not sure I agree with that last quote about, you know, he might pull in some big names you wouldn't expect on television. I think every big name is going to television these days. Um, so this confirms what uh, was reported on Deadline by Mike Fleming back on February 24th. Quentin Tarantino in early talks to direct Timothy Oliphant in episodes of FX. FX's Elmore Leonard, easy for me to say, limited series Justified City Primeval. So there you have it. Um, for those of you not familiar with Justified, I did a video last month um, celebrating the 20th anniversary of The Shield on FX, which was the first basic cable, um, high quality, high caliber, really raw, uh, gritty cop show that kind of set the template for everything that followed. Um, and when that ended, I had this like empty feeling like, oh, man, what am I going to do without the Vic Mackey show? Well, along came Justified in 2010. It ran for six seasons to 2015. Um, starred Timothy Oliphant as a U.S. Marshal, Ray Land Givens. Um, it, it, it was the perfect substitute um, for for the shield for the hole that the shield left and i don't want to give anything away if you haven't seen the series but right in the first 10 minutes of the pilot you get a little han solo greedo kind of thing going on and they're off and running from there um oliphant is perfect as raylan Givens. a lot of people might know him uh most recently as cobb vanth in the mandalorian series and uh the boba fett series 
Oh, hey, there's a little Boba Fett thing there, huh? Yeah, just noticed that. Um, the antagonist of the show was uh, played by Walt Goggins, uh, his character Boyd Crowder. And Boyd, he took the Shane Vendrell character from The Shield and turned it up a notch. The pilot's called Fire in the Hole, and that's one of the first lines out of his mouth. And it's a kind of a shocking uh, scene of uh, the Fire in the Hole. And it just, uh, him and Raylan have a personal relationship that dates way, way back. Uh, which makes for interesting drama uh, throughout the course of the show. Um, I don't know. I mean, let me go back here for a second. So um, it's listed now on IMDb as the untitled Elmore Leonard adaptation starring Timothy Oliphant and nobody else. So I'm not sure if we're going to get back Walt Goggins. I'm not sure if we're going to get Nick Searcy back as his boss, Artie. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to get back uh, Jacob Pitts as sniper Tim Gutterson. It, it, I like this character because Tim was clearly tweaked. There was something wrong with this guy, and they never really explored it. It just kind of, this was one of the characters that never got fully uh, rounded out. And uh, last but not least, I got to make sure I get the name right Erica Tazer? 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 T A Z E R. I, I I don't know how to say her last name. Um, as Rachel Brooks, who was kind of an up and coming young agent uh, under Artie's wing. So um, yeah, I, I I really am curious to see what's going to happen here. Um, I'm happy that Justified's coming back. I'm sad that it's only a limited run, but much like the original series, it was adapted from Elmore Leonard material, so they're st- sticking with that. Um, I might have to go pick up this novel to, uh, to get a handle on what's going on here. But anyway, love to know what you guys think. Leave comments below, uh, smash that like button. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It only help us grow the channel and I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up below. Also, please subscribe to Geek Time TV. It really helps us grow the channel. And make sure you hit that bell icon in order to receive notifications every time we drop new content here. You can also check us out on social media on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at GeekTimeNet. Thanks again for watching. We will see you soon. Hey kids, what time is that?